So the word of God always has a power to it, undergirding societies, and we need to know that. So how else can we get it out there? Well, put it on the internet, in every language on earth. Put it on the internet. And there's a, what they call the O3B movement, the other three billion movement. And seven of the largest corporations in the world, IT corporations, are, are joining together. In the next few years, they plan to have a free handheld that'll be tied to the low-flying satellites that Bill Gates and uh, Motorola put up there a few years ahead of time. And they can use them now. And they can literally, everyone on Earth could be uh, tied to the internet. And of course, if they get a freebie, they have to look for the, watch the Nike or Coca-Cola advertisements and so on. That's how the men, the other men will get their money back. But uh, this will allow us, with GMO, Global Media Outreach, they're now reaching many hundreds of thousands a day over the internet. You just Google onto them and uh, and you'll hear the gospel, but you'll see a map up there if you look uh, on the internet under uh, Great Commission 2020. And uh, don't, don't spell it wrong or you'll get off a kick or knock off. But as you go on to it, you, you'll see the map of the world and the numbers as people are saying, we have just prayed the sinner's prayer. And it's 40, 50, 60,000 a day. Every day, and they start over every day, every 24 hours, California time. And so this is coming out of one of the top men of Apple. He was one of the first three of Apple, and he's a Christian. So when Google came to him and said, we have a million people sometimes a day asking about God and Bible and Jesus and all. We don't have anybody, <laughs> any Christians answering. And so he's, he uh, went full time. And uh, by 2020, they hope to have 24 hours a day, four times the gospel put on the internet in every language on earth by 2020. 